So another thing that you clearly valued when you were dean was rigorous research. And so you had really invested in uh, the research of our students. Right. Uh, and you created the Student Research Conference during your time as dean. Why was that so important to you? It was important to have something going on where the students would have a fair amount of control, where they would be doing with their peers the kind of thing that is valued by faculty, and to say that it's not just, also, it's not just the research of the faculty, but it's the research of the students uh, can be really important. And they need practice in not only doing it, but, but presenting their arguments. Uh, so it was intended to do that. But also, it's an important part of their education, even if they're going to become practitioners. Uh, we value research. It's one thing to take courses with researchers that need to do it themselves, and they need to do the kind of things that people in the research uh, business do. And uh, I think they liked it. Uh, well, it continues. It's been so popular. That's amazing. And including students from schools across the country. Really? Yes. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. Uh, but this is, you know, one of the things this school play, stands for is, you know, rigorous research and, and paying attention to rigorous research, even if you're not producing it. Uh, and this was a vehicle to let the students do the kind of thing. So it wasn't the faculty that did rigorous research. The, these members of the community also ought, ought to be doing it. Right. And then sharing that, disseminating, Indeed. communicating that research. Yeah, exactly. And, and how do you, it's one thing to do it, it's another thing. How do you get your ideas out? How do you present them? How do you respond to questions about them? How do you do the kind of the professional side after you've done the research of a presentation and so on? So, so. All important and it took skills. All, huh? all important skills. Indeed. Indeed. And in skills that you learn not by being told about them or reading about them, but by, by doing them. Exactly. Yes.